So I was hit, sitting here in math class, right, studying for my exam. My, my exam, probably by the time this is uploaded, it's tomorrow. Fortunately, maybe it's today. And I was thinking, man, Man, some of these functions are just fucking stupid. So today, we have a, a tier list, a very, very simple tier list, where we will be ranking mathematical functions. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? Mathematical functions? I never thought that deeply. I'm, I'm still at uh, your linear equations. And uh, let me tell you, fear fear nothing, for I am, I am a calculus enthusiast. I will help you navigate through the good functions and the bad functions. Um, I can't read half of these, so I gotta, I gotta zoom in. Okay, so for the first function, y equals n x plus b, linear equation, the good old classic. Look, if if your math teacher at any point past ninth grade is giving you it just a simple y equals m x plus b function or um, equation, you are popping off. It's so easy, so simple, get straight to the point. Unfortunately, now it's used for like approximating points very quickly. However, very helpful for that. Like it's the, the foundation of functions. There's no other tier it, deserve, it belongs in other than S. Okay, and next we got the absolute value function. I think this is like the less cool cousin of the, um, the squared function. Was that quadratic? Is that his name? Maybe. Um, no, that's a quadratic. I don't know. Um, like, you never see this pop up. Like, it, eh. Like, most of the time, it's just like, who cares? Now we have his cooler cousin, the quadratic function. Um, AX, to the power of two, plus BX, plus C. Good old reliable. I actually have a lot of fun with these, because like, in a pre-calculus to find it, you have like a whole puzzle and stuff. And if the puzzle doesn't work out, then you have to, although the quadratic uh, formula where it's negative B plus or minus the square root of four B minus AC. No, 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 no. It's B squared minus four times AC. And then you divide all that by two A. It's, it's a, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fun. It's it's definitely no quadratic, but I think like of the functions, it's pretty good. It's it's helpful. It helps solve a lot of like real world stuff. So for that, it can go into the A tier. All right, A X squared, a cubed quadratic. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of like meh. To me, it's it's like it's better than the absolute value, but like it's it's fine. Now, it's like very inoffensive, but you never really see this appear unless it's like in a longer uh, quadratic. Um, now you have the the square root function. I don't know its actual like professional name. Uh, this is very annoying. I do not like calculating this. I don't like doing this because like if it's ever negative, then you're fucked up. And if like you're trying to solve like for a derivative, for example. Um, and this is ever present. Um, it's very hard because generally, if this is in the derivative, you're trying to find out like how can you make sure that the negative squared is gone, and it's it's just not fun. It's annoying, and this is it's like to me, it's a worse like exponential decay or um, exponential growth graph and so for that i'll put it i'll put it in c tier it's not like the worst not the end of the world but it's still not very fun and now we have it's like objectively worst cousin um the what is that there, there's a there's a fancy word to say to the to the root of three three rooted through dude the fucking root like this is how useless it is i don't even know its name i know all these like random names i know the quadratic formula off the top of my head I don't even know what the fuck this is called. So, easy D tier. Actually, I'm gonna put this in F tier, because no one uses this. No one uses this. It's so useless. Um, speaking of um, goaded graphs, uh, or the lack of goaded graphs, I guess, we got exponential growth. I don't know why, but I just love me an exponential growth graph. It, like, it applies to the real world so well. Like, it's, it's very easy to understand, right? Like, of course, like, as... 
you can use it for like population or like bacterial growth or if you, if you put it into the negative power you can see like a decay it's very nice it's very fun um you can use this for like your taxes as well or not taxes but like investment it, it's so many real world world like applications and it's not it's not hard to grasp so for that i'll put it in s tier i get really excited anytime there's like an exponential growth thing um now we have i think the exact opposite um natural log uh it's fine i don't use it too much though um it, i do like its button on the calculator it's just ln it's really it's really funny um put in like c tier it sure is like it's like it's it's like pretty useful um you got logarithmic um yeah fine i'm not too big of a fan of it um it's usually just used to like unwrap an equation and like when you're learning about log you think it's like the most shice thing ever you're like holy shit this is like incredible this is how rome was built oh my god and then it just you just never touched again i haven't touched this i'm an engineering major um maybe i will eventually um like it's it's, it's okay it's okay it's like fun to learn i guess i'll put in like I think it's it's cooler than like AX to the or like X X cubed. So I'll put it I'll put it in B tier. It's a solid B tier. Um here we have X to the power of X and this is just fucking stupid. It just like it can't even decide. And solving for this is like usually a headache. I mean like eh, it's, it's not the worst. Um here we have X continuous, I think. I think that's what it is. X continuous. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Um, I've never seen this all day in my life. Um, D F tier. Shit. Um, oh, I know what this is. Fuck, what's his name? I don't know. But it's like, it's like where you're trying to solve for the thing. And it's like, like where all the values are like lines. Um, I think I'm like, eh. I, I don't even know what the know its name. So F tier. All right, we got good old sine, cosine, tangent. Um, which ones are S tiers? I think instant sine, cosine. They help you find the angles. They help you find like the other sides of a triangle, and they're very easy to get to like comprehend. Like, it's always between negative one, and or yeah, negative one and one. Very simple. Sine goes where cosine doesn't go. Cosine goes where sine doesn't go so nice um tangent on the other hand is kind of weird it's it like it's kind of trying to be like a, a quadratic or not a quadratic like a, like a cubed function kind of but it's at the same time not it's very indecisive lots of asymptotes like once you find one it's like not the end of the world but it's really annoying to like calculate like the lines and shit so i'll put, I'll put it like b tier it's still like good but it's not like it's not like shiest, you know. Um, what is this? Oh, derivative. Fuck this. Nope. I just see. I just see a derivative. Hell no. Hell no. No. Anyone's ever done this? No. Derivatives are fucking stupid. Um. Now we have negative sine. This is what you do to try and find like the angle, right? Eh. Eh. They're fine. I think they're on the same level as tangent, but tangent's like. It's mid. Not the end of the world. Not not the, like, the greatest. Not the worst. It's just kind of there. Secant. Um, like literally the opposite of sine, right? The inverse of sine. No. Yes. Uh, I'm not a fan. I don't know where C co cotangent. And, 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 uh, or, um... Dear God, what the fuck is that? S equals what? Oh, this is the the fun asymptote thing. Yay. Oh, wait, no, I lied. Um, I don't know what this is, so I'll just put it in, in B tier. Uh, the hell? Dude, this is just showing me how little I know about math. Sine HX? Well, it can't be better than sine, so all, all these are mid. All these are mid. And what in the fuck is going on here? 
What? That's a... There's not... There's no numbers. Um, this is like... This is the circle graph, right? It just creates a circle. It's very funny. Create, it's a semicircle. Type it into the calculator. Let's just do that. And I think for the funny factor, I'll put it here. The semicircle function, as I like to call it. I think that's what it is. Maybe? Should be. Should be. Um, forgot what this is called. It just, I mean, it, it's it's fun. It's just trying to be like it's trying to be so many other graphs, and for, it doesn't like have its own identity. It's just annoying. It's just dumb. Uh, we have the inverse here now. Um, creates asymptotes. It's a very nice introduction to what asymptotes are. I think it's like training wheels. So for that, I'll put in like a tier. It's very easy to like comprehend, like. It, x just can't be the number on the bottom x just like the bottom number just can't be zero so you gotta like solve that puzzle of it you can like add stuff to it you make it subtract whatever um it, it's very very fun it's a nice introduction to like stuff like this um cough um c tier i don't know what it's talking about um import math trunk what code and then we have this thing and i don't know what this thing is so i'm gonna put this in d tier to round out the tier list how long has it been going for 11 minutes incredible well that is that is my math function tier list take a screenshot i think y equals mx plus b is the greatest thing to happen to mankind and i think whatever the hell is going on over here is the worst thing to happen to mankind um i appreciate you watching um please please go to your math teacher and show them this let them know let them know have a nice day guys goodbye